Hi, I'm Anmol Bhargav from Continuous Integration Team at MathWorks. In this video, I'll guide you to set up MATLAB as a global tool in Jenkins. I'll start by creating a freestyle project. Here, I'll specify my GitHub repository and related Git SCM settings. Let's take a look at Use MATLAB version option. Currently, it's asking me to specify a path to the MATLAB executable. Let's skip this for now and move on to add build tasks. I'll add a run MATLAB command task to build my mix file and I'll add a run MATLAB test task to run my tests and generate a JUnit style test result report. I'll also specify source folders where my source code lies. Let's save this. Now let's take a look at how we can specify MATLAB as a global tool. To do so, go to Manage Jenkins and then Global Tool Configuration. Here, you'll see a MATLAB section. You can add your MATLAB installations here. The path that you specify here for your MATLAB installation is for your master node. In this case, it's a Windows machine. I'll add a couple of options here. The name that you specify here is available throughout Jenkins for all builds. Let's save this. Now, as you can see, I have two nodes for my Jenkins instance. One master, Windows machine, and one Debian node. Depending on which node is used for the build, tools location will be overwritten accordingly. Let's configure the Debian node to use MATLAB installation that we just specified. Scroll towards the end of the configuration and select Tools Location. Here in the drop down, you can see MATLAB's names being reflected. You can select the version and specify the appropriate path of MATLAB executable for the Debian node. I'll add the same options that I configured earlier. Now let's head back to the freestyle project and try to specify the MATLAB. Under Use MATLAB version, we should now be able to see MATLAB versions that we just configured. You can select either of those. Now let's save it and run it. Let's take a look at the console output for this build. Here you can see that the build is running on a Debian Linux machine and that the plugin used the path for MATLAB correctly for the Debian machine. My MEX file is successfully generated and the test that I ran passed. My build is successful. Now let's take a look at multi configuration project and how we can use MATLAB installation there. I have a similar setting for my Git repository. I'll head down to Configuration Matrix and select MATLAB Access. Here, I can simply select the version of MATLAB I want to build on. All the build tasks are similar to the project that I've created. I'll save this and run it. As you can see, it created two build configurations. Let's take a look at these individually. So since each of my node had only one executor, one of the configurations ran on the Debian node. As you can see here, it also added the part to MATLAB correctly. Similarly, the other configuration ran on master node, and the part to MATLAB was added appropriately. And as we can see, the build is successful. Now. Let's take a look at how we can use MATLAB tool configuration in a pipeline based project. This is my GitHub repository and I'll add a file here that will hold my pipeline script which will reside at the root of the repository. I'll name this as Jenkins file. I'll add some pipeline code here in the file. As you can see, I've added a matrix configuration. 
and I've added an axis around MATLAB version. To use the axis values, I'll use the tools section and specify MATLAB as such. I've added two stages, run MATLAB command to build my MEX file and run MATLAB test to run my tests. I've also specified a source folder. I'll add relevant comment to this file and commit the file. This configuration as code approach allows me to have my source code and CI configuration in the same place. Now let's create a pipeline project in Jenkins to use the script that we just created. I'll move to the pipeline section and select pipeline script from SCM. I'll set the GitHub repository in Git URL and configure relevant Git SCM settings so that Jenkins build can pull my pipeline script directly from the repository. As you can see, the default name is Jenkins files and this is how the mapping is done. Let's save this. Now let's open the Blue Ocean UI and run the build. The run will create two configurations. The first one will run R2020B MATLAB and the second one will run R2021A MATLAB. And as we can see, the build is successful. Thank you.